Let's learn about volcanoes. Ah, this is a volcano eruption. Get ready to study volcanoes. To understand volcanoes, let's study about the structure of the Earth first. Earth is made up of a number of layers. Um, like an onion. Yeah, or like an apple. The four main layers of the Earth are the crust, mantle, outer core, and inner core. The crust. The crust is the thin outer layer of our Earth. It varies from about five kilometers thick in the ocean floor to around 70 kilometers thick on land. Mantle. The next layer is known as the mantle. The mantle is made up of little different silicate rocks, which consist of more iron and magnesium. The outer core. Earth's outer core is very hot and builds up hot liquid nickel and iron. It creates a magnetic field and makes a protective blockade around the Earth that guards us from the sun's harmful solar wind. Inner core. This layer is also built up of nickel and iron, but in solid form. The inner core is almost as hot as the surface of the sun, over 5,000 degrees Celsius. Hot, so hot. One more thing, tectonic plates. The tectonic plates are a combo of the outer mantle and the crust. These plates move very slowly. You can say uh, around a couple of inches a year. Let's do a simple experiment. Bring a cola bottle. Very good. Now shake it. It will create air pressure inside the bottle. Now open it carefully. Whoa, it's like a volcano. Come on now, see how it happened. There are several gases inside the earth as well as a lot of hot melted metals. This melted hot material is called magma and it comes out of the earth. Now, can you bring a balloon? Yeah. Now keep it under sunlight. The air inside the balloon gets hotter, and due to this, molecules run away from each other. This puts pressure on the balloon's outer layer. This outer layer is like the crust of the Earth. Oh, the inside gas is putting pressure. Ugh, this has burst and air has come out. Simple? This is the theory behind volcanic eruption. Now, look here. This is a volcanic eruption. The red liquid that is coming out is called lava. When it is inside the earth, it is magma. And when it comes out, it is called lava. Lava on the surface stops flowing and hardens into rocks when it gets cool. In 2017, Mount Agung, a volcano on the island of Bali in Indonesia, erupted violently enough to cause evacuation and air flight disruption. A volcano is a mountain that is disclosed downward to a pool of molten rock beneath the surface of the Earth. And whenever pressure builds up, eruptions occur. There are three different types of volcanoes. Active volcano. In this, eruptions can be anytime and often. An example is Mount Vesuvius in Italy and Sakurajima in Japan. A dormant volcano is an active volcano that is not erupting but is supposed to erupt again. An example is Mauna Kea in Hawaii and Mount Fuji in Japan. Extinct volcano. It means it hasn't erupted in a very long time, so it probably won't ever erupt again. An example is the Deccan Traps in India and Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania. Volcanoes can also be classified based on their shapes. Shield volcanoes. These are shaped like a shield or a bowl in the middle with long, gentle slopes made by the lava flows. In this type, the magma is too runny, so the gas moves away easily, and the magma simply comes out of the mountain and flows down the sides. No explosion, though. Some shield volcanoes are in Mount Etna and Hawaii. Composite volcano. These are steep-sided volcanoes and composed of many layers of volcanic rocks 
that are usually made from the thick, sticky lava, rock debris, and ash. In this, the magma is thick and gluey, um, like honey, so gas cannot escape and it builds up and up and up until it explodes, sending out huge clouds of burning rock and gas. Some examples are Mount Cotopaxi in Ecuador and Mount Fuji in Japan. Cinder cones. These are ovular or circular cones and made from erupting lava that breaks into small pieces when it shoots in the air. The small pieces fall back to the land. They cool and create cinders around the vent. An example is Paracutan in Mexico and the Mauna Kea in Hawaii. Volcano lava domes. These are built up by viscous magma being flared up effusively into the shadow and then stacking up around the vent. Some examples are Katla lava in Iceland and Lassen Peak in the United States. Now, you know a lot about volcanoes. Oh, again the eruption. Cool. Stay tuned for more videos and always help others.